In this video, we're going to remind ourselves how to simplify radicals. Now, there are many different ways to simplify radicals. I'm just going to show you one way that I think is pretty simple. Uh, you may have learned a different way, but I just want to remind you a little bit about simplifying radicals because this might come in handy for the placement test. Suppose we were asked to simplify the square root of 18. What we want to find are perfect squares that go into 18. Now, what are perfect squares? Perfect squares are the numbers that you get when you start squaring the whole numbers. So for example, the one squared is one. That's kind of boring. We don't really use that one very often. So let's start with two. Two squared is four. So four is a perfect square. Three squared is nine. Nine is a perfect square. Four squared is 16. So 16 is a perfect square. Etc. So I'm just going to write down the first few perfect squares. You don't really have to go very far because perfect squares get big pretty fast. So 5 squared, 6 squared, 7 squared. You could keep on going if you wanted. But in general, those are some of the perfect squares, the first perfect squares that we use to simplify radicals. Now what we want to do is we want to find out which one of these numbers, if any, can I use to factor 18? 4 won't be helpful, but 9 is. I can break up 18 into 9 times 2. The square root of 18 is the same as the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. Now, the reason we do that is so that we can simplify. So 9 is a perfect square. The square root of 9 is the number 3. 2 is not a perfect square. And so we have the square root of 9, 3, square root 2. So square root of 18 simplified is 3, square root 2. Let me do one more example. What if we wanted to simplify the square root of 75? We want to find one of these numbers, if any, that goes into 75. And so just checking our list, 25 is going to work. So we can take square root of 75 and say that that's the same as the square root of 25, times the square root of 3. And why do we break it up using a perfect square? Because we know that the square root of 25 is simply 5. So we have 5 square root 3. So I'm going to give you one to try. See if you can simplify the square root of 72. All right, let's see how you did. What we want to do is we want to find one of these perfect square numbers that goes into 72. Now, some of you might have gotten really excited thinking, oh, 4 goes into 72, and it does. It goes in 18 times. But what you want to do is you want to find the largest number that goes into 72. So let's hold on to that one, and let's just check and see if we can find one that's larger. 36. 36 goes into 72. I can break up 72 into 36 times 2. The square root of 36 is the number 6, so our answer would be 6 square root 2. Now, for those of you who stopped at 4, the square root of 72, you're right. I can break that up as 4 times 18, and the square root of 4 is 2. And you might have wondered, well, is my answer correct? Well, sort of. It's halfway correct. It's halfway done, and it's halfway not done. It's like reducing a fraction and not going all the way. It's exactly the same thing. So if 18 can still be simplified, if there's still a perfect square that goes into 18, and this is our first example, we know that 9 goes into 18. If it can still be broken up, you'd have to keep on going. That's why it's to your advantage to try to find the largest perfect square that goes into the number. Because here we can see there's nothing else we can do to 2. There's no perfect square that goes into it. And so we're done. And so that's a reminder on how to simplify square roots.